Colonel Alistair Lethbridge Stewart was originally to appear only in The Web of Fear as a supporting character. He was the creation of writers Mervyn Heisman and Henry Lincoln, to whom royalties had to be paid whenever the character was used, although it is a matter of public record that such credit and payment was rarely given. The character remains the copyright of Mervyn Heisman, via his literary estate run by his granddaughter, Hannah Heisman, and Henry Lincoln. In televised episodes, the brigadier appeared and interacted with all of the first seven doctors, though his encounter with the sixth doctor in Dimensions in Time is not counted as part of the Doctor Who universe by this wiki. Nevertheless, his most continuous period of interaction with the doctor was during the time Lord's second, third and fourth incarnations. There were unsurprisingly numerous comic, audio and prose stories which centered on the Brigadier's adventures with those three doctors. More unusual were the number of stories in other media which described interactions with other doctors. A short story once posited he met the first doctor before the doctor and Susan settled on Totter's Lane. The sixth doctor's first encounter with the Brig was described in the audio story The Spectre of Lanyon Moore, quite irrespective of dimensions in time. Likewise, the audio story Minuet in Hell and the novel The Dying Days cast him alongside the Eighth Doctor. Meanwhile, in the 2016 comic story Official Secrets, the Brigadier is shown for the first time interacting with the Ninth Doctor, and the comic story The Warkeeper's Crown had him as a temporary companion of the Tenth Doctor. The Tenth Doctor also presumably, though not explicitly, visited the Brigadier off-screen during the time of the closing scenes of the End of Time as the Eleventh Doctor later told Joe in the Sarah Jane adventure story Death of the Doctor that he had visited everyone who ever traveled with him. As of 2016 there have yet to be officially licensed stories in which the Brigadier encounters the war in Eleventh Doctors. Finally, he made guest appearances in some of the Doctor Less audio stories from Big Finish Productions, including the Unit audio series and the, mostly Doctor Less, audio serial, The Three Companions. Although the historic first meeting between Colonel Lethbridge Stewart and the Doctor was never shown in the Web of Fear, the events leading directly into their first meeting are chronicled in the DWM 483 prose story The Ambush. Nicholas Courtney's long tenure on Doctor Who led to some interesting trivia. Along with Carol Ann Ford, John Pertwee and Patrick Troughton, he was one of only four actors to work with both William Hartnell and Richard Herndahl's interpretations of the first Doctor. Apart from Peter Purves and Hartnell himself, he was the only regular cast member on Doctor Who to have played two different roles in episodes featuring Hartnell. The rehearsal script for Remembrance of the Daleks said that the Brigadier was to be put in charge of the Special Incursions Countermeasures Unit, and that he had done work for the Special Operations Executive in World War II, which would have contradicted many previous stories. DWM 464 the characters of both the Brigadier and Benton appeared in the X-Men comic book Uncanny X-Men No. 218. DWM 390, he appeared in Enemy of the Bane after Freema Agumon had to drop out. Ref. Lethbridge Stewart, Top Secret Files. The show planned to bring him back again for the wedding of Sarah Jane Smith, and he makes an appearance in the novelization, but this appearance was cancelled after Nicholas Courtney suffered a stroke. The reference to the Brigadier's death in The Wedding of River Song was a last-minute addition to the episode in tribute to the recently deceased Nicholas Courtney, as were the eyepatches. The Brigadier appeared in the 2014 episode Death in Heaven, with a picture of Courtney in character, and then in physical form as a Cyberman. 